talk trucking today. We're going to talk trucking. So, I'm climbing these old mountains out here in Pennsylvania. Um, you know, just doing my thing up and down. And I, uh, I'm doing what I do normally. You know, I'm watching my gauges and, you know, watching my gears and my speed and the goofballs around me. And I, I got to thinking that... A lot of people get into this business and they think a truck driver is a steering wheel holder for lack of better terms. So what they think is you get in here, you hold the steering wheel, and you drive on up the road. Now, some of these new trucks, you can do that. If you're not pushing them if you're not really working you know what I mean now when you go to older trucks and I'm not talking just 90 spring liners like even my 08 Ram 2010 Rams you've got to watch what you're doing you've got to watch your gauges you've got to watch your speed your RPM your your uh years, I may have said that, but oil pressure, you know, all that good stuff, but the most deadly, the most deadly thing for this truck is your EGT, exhaust gas temperature, so when your exhaust gas temperature gets hot, that means the truck, the engine is really, really hot. So, you're measuring the gases coming out of the motor, right? So, and you're probably measuring them at the end of the manifold, or behind the turbo, or, you know, somewhere at the end. So, think about this. If you're measuring them at the end, and you're running 1,200 degrees, which nobody should be running 1,200 degrees, but my old Ram used, could handle it. But if you're running 1,200 degrees at the end, how hot do you think it is in that motor? And heat is what destroys a motor. So you've got to watch your EGTs. Yeah, hot shot, that sounds good. So you just let off the fuel. And, 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 and that is not how you lower your EGTs. So if you just let off the fuel and then get back into it, you're actually going to raise your EGTs. What you want to do is tell Trouble Man to leave me alone. Now, my boy, I'll call you back. <laughs> So, what you want to do is downshift. You want to do what? You want to downshift. So, the way these old diesel motors work is the higher the RPM, the faster and cleaner the fuel burns. So, if you're running 1500 RPMs, your EGTs are going to be hotter. Now that's based on this truck. Based on this truck, 100%. So now, when if you run 1800, you're gonna go down. You're gonna run a little cooler if you downshift and run higher RPMs, if that makes sense. I'm trying to watch and see if this is gonna happen and I can show you, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Um, I should have been recording back there when it did happen. So, um, you know, that that's just something else you have to keep in mind. And obviously, you got to watch your oil pressure, your oil temp. You will watch your water temp, um, your boost. Like, you, you don't want to be under boosted. So make sure you're using all your boost. And... Like a prob problem I'm having with this truck 
it's, and it's not a problem, like issue problem. It's a problem for me. But under 1500 RPMs, my uh, my boost doesn't shoot like doesn't work like it should. But that's just because of the turbo size and my gearing and all that. So what I need to do is get a turbo that spools faster, which we all know that's in the, in the game plan. Let me see something. Let me try something. Let me try something.
think about that. So, there's people that started and failed like that because they're not willing to listen. They, they think they know everything. Like, in whatever you do on a regular basis, you probably do. You probably do know everything. Like, I don't know everything about this truck. I, I don't even know everything about hauling or running a company. But I know a lot, you know. I can still learn every day. You know, and that, that's kind of what we're doing on Throne. But, uh, links in the description, shameless plug. Um, but guys, take advice. Take advice. Now, think about something also. When you start a job, like when you're an employee and you start a job, where do you usually start? At the bottom. You're usually at the bottom. You don't get the day shift. You don't get the best shift right out the gate. You don't get it. So why do you think you're gonna get it in hauling? You're still OTR. Is there gigs I would like to do local? Yeah. But they don't pay enough. They're just not my cup of tea. I would love I would love nothing more than to be home every night. I got a wife and five kids. I would love to be there. And I guarantee you they'd love me to be there. And they're probably watching here. Love you, kids. They watch all my videos. So, um, when you're starting, you're going to have to go over the road. You're going to have to chase the money. Now, if you're starting with 100 G's in the bank, do what you want. But you best believe when that thing gets down to 50 G's, you better have it figured out. Just saying. So, I know this video kind of went off in the left field, but this is the problem with just making YouTube videos. There's stuff I want to say, but it's too short. And it, or there's not enough meat and potatoes in it to, to do a whole video. So that's why stuff like this happens, but we got another platform now. So, um, yeah, you guys, and we'll do more talking about starting up and, you know, doing what you don't want to do. Remember, you do what they want, and you get what they don't. Remember that. Old Dave Ramsey. Old Dave Ramsey. I switched it up a little bit, but it's the same, same motto. So, guys, that's all I got to say about that. So... Go in the hot shot trucking, car hauling. You want the best info from the number one car hauler on YouTube? I can say that. I may be beat soon. Somebody gonna try to come get it. Come get it, baby! I'm not number one hot shot. If you look at, uh, oh wait, we might have a chance. Hold on. Now watch what happens. Watch. Watch the EGTs. Now, it's not instant because it's got to be time, you know, to burn correctly. See them going down? Jack them RPMs up and look, now we're going down. We went down about 100. Now, I'm not going to sit here for hours or long time and show you guys but we were up at around like seven seven fifty to eight hundred now that's where we're at so all right so i hope this video helped you out i hope you got some info out of it you understand a little bit better on how to drive and what you know what i mean which way to go and what to do and uh i, I really just hope that what I said about starting, a lot of people really take that to heart um, because there's another, there's a YouTuber who just got his second shot. And I'm going to tell you right now, 
second shots in a business like this are very, very rare. So take your time, do it right the first time, and rock on. You, you don't have to be perfect right away. You just have to not fail. So, if you can just listen, hang on for the ride, and just not fail, you're a winner. You're winning and you'll make it. But, if you've got to do it your way, and only your way, it's going to hurt. So, again, hope you guys understood, liked, and enjoyed this. We're going to run on down here through Pittsburgh some more. Get to the other side, because we got to get to my not North Dakota. So, uh, y'all know the drill. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that ding, ding. And I will see you tomorrow. Peace.